Hey y'all, guess who I have with me? Madison, my little sister. And I'm about to cut her hair because the girl that cuts my hair is booked up until 2017. So she's not gonna be able to get her hair cut anytime soon. So I figured this would be a good time for <laughs> me to uh, test out my old uh, cutting skills because I used to cut my own hair for like two years, two, three years, maybe longer than that. Um, so yeah, she is trusting me with these and I'm gonna take you guys through this journey. So if you guys are cutting your own hair at home or you have a sister or mom who wants to cut your hair, this is how I cut my hair on myself for a really long time, plus and how kind of like what I've learned from what my stylist, how she cuts my hair and all that kind of stuff. First, you wanna start off with however you wear your hair regularly. So this is how she normally styles her hair. Now Madison, like how do you regularly style your hair? Well, on Sundays, I fully wash my hair with mm -hmm. the Garnier's um, Curly. Oh, the, Curl Nourish. Yeah. yeah the orange bottle. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, I yeah. Wash, I use a shampoo conditioner, mm -hmm. and then I use the buttercream. Buttercream. And I section bomb. it off, and I mm -hmm. put it in, and then I'll use a diamond brush to brush up. Okay, perfect. And then you twist too, right? Because she has yes. like, she twists the top. So what, you're obviously, her hair is colored. And so, do you ever deep condition it? Do you like use coconut oil? Like, what do you do? Nope. No. That's a problem. Okay. <laughs> this, I'm gonna cut her. <laughs> She's in college now, so we're trying to get her to, you know, get in these really good habits of taking care of her curly hair and deep conditioning is one of those good habits. So she twists some of these because she does have heat damage in certain areas and also um, obviously some damage from the color. Uh, but she wears her hair curly like what, 90% of the time, 95 all the time. Oh, yeah. So we're not do dealing with too much like heat damage, but like you guys can see like that piece here, like that right there, that's dead. So we gotta get rid of that. So we're gonna get rid of like all those pieces. So I'm gonna start just like by going in different areas of her hair and any of the pieces that I see that are like really straight, I'm gonna clip them. And then um, we'll see like this one, like this piece right here. I'm not about to cut off that whole piece, but really we need to get rid of, of that whole piece. So I'm just gonna cut off the little bit. So I'm used to doing this on my own head, but I feel like I need to be a little bit more organized because it's your hair. She's got a lot of hair, y'all. Like we just have a lot of hair in our family. I'm like low-key very excited about this. <laughs> Talking about this earlier and uh, she was like, can I get my hair cut by the girl that cuts your hair? And I was like, no, she's booked. But I was like, oh my gosh, I should cut your hair and we should film it. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just taking these pieces here. Like you can see how her curl pattern is nice and curly and then it gets like waved out right here. So I'm just gonna clip those ends there. Now, I never used to take a lot off um, and so I'm not gonna do that with her either. I'm just gonna take these little ends and as time goes on, you know, her hair will grow out and um, it will coil again. But I'm just like going basically searching, search and destroy those dead ends. So, and all of her ends aren't dead. Like she's got a lot of coil in there. So I've we're not gonna, yeah. So she's been cutting little pieces herself, which is, I definitely would say do that because that's what I used to do. And it just kind of gets those dead ends off and dusting your own ends like people do that all the time and honestly in this section you know there's really not any more dead ends but we do got to shape it up a little bit and like make it even so and I'm not even gonna like I'm not stretching her curls out when I cut I'm just gonna kind of try to take it however it naturally goes and um, kind of make it even even it out a little bit more because she's got pieces that are shorter underneath pieces that are longer and we don't want that, we want it to be more cohesive. So I'm just taking pieces. Now, obviously y'all, I'm not a professional, okay? So th this is just the way that I used to cut my own curly hair when I was growing up and, um, well really not growing up, but I was in college. And um, things that I've just like learned throughout like my curly hair experience. Now, when she tries to wear her hair straight, Never again. it's, well, I mean, you can wear your hair straight, but you definitely need to go and get it professionally cut. But for right now, you're like, this This will be fine. Like, this will do. And see, now it's, like, more even. You see it already, mm -hmm. Madison? Yeah, because it was like this. Some of this, Some was, of like this longer, was longer. Some of this was longer. And other. You guys can see here. Like, she really, she's got awesome curls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're done with this area already. And see, I didn't even cut off that much at all. 
got these straight pieces here, y'all. We gotta get rid of some of that, some of that weight. Um, it's really noticeable here in the back, so I'm gonna like clip these. Sorry, I'm asking. It needs to be done. It needs to be done. It needs to be done. I just don't want to do it because I didn't know where to cut those bottles to go. Mm-hmm. It's got to be done because they're dead. And once hair is dead, it's gone forever. There's no going back. There's no going back. And see, that already looks better because we're just like getting rid of those ends. And you probably still want to like um, twist it um, here and there, but for now it it looks um, better than it was before. See your little curls in the bottom here. Look at They're that. Good. They look so good. See, she has got a lot of texture going on too. She's got a lot of patterns too. Um, but a lot of times we think that we have a lot of different patterns, which we do, but sometimes it's because of damage that makes our hair look looser. So like back here, she's probably, honestly, you're probably like 3C, honestly. She has tighter coils than I do. Um, so, and then she also coils them, so you could, you probably get a lot of shrinkage too, huh? Mm -hmm. And then you can tell like you've clipped some of these because some of your hair is like super long underneath and then it like abruptly goes really short like look how long look how long her hair like you guys can't even see Yeah, it looks more even now. It looks more even? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so now we're gonna go deep condition. What do you have in your hair right now? Just buttercream? Okay. Um, have you, when was the last time you washed it? Wednesday. Just today is Saturday. Wednesday. Wednesday? Okay, we can cleanse it too. So we're gonna go cleanse her hair, deep condition. I am gonna put her under the steamer because she's probably never had her hair steamed before. And then I'm gonna do her wash and go. So, so Madison's hair is nice and clean. So you guys can see here too, like her hair is like coiling and everything nicely, like we don't have any issues, like even still here, those two pieces, I'll probably cut those. You see the, <laughs> they're, um, they're waved out. So, so as far as deep conditioners go, I'm going to be mixing a few things together. So I already mixed um, this conditioner, this is the Myel Organics Babasu Protein and Mint and Oil. No, oil and mint deep conditioner, it's a protein conditioner, but I mixed it with um, glycerin, Jamaican black castor oil, and um, I think a little bit of olive oil last time, and so it still has that mixture in here, but um, there's not enough for her whole head, so I'm going to get another deep conditioner, so I'm using some of this uh, blueberry bliss, bleh, blue, blueberry bliss, that's like a tongue twister. A blue, blue, dang, I really cannot say that. Blueberry Bliss um, deep conditioner. And I'm just going to put some of this in here, mix it up. I'm going to add some more coconut oil and Jamaican black castor oil to kind of get it fit a bunch of moisture. Um, because I can tell her hair is kind of hard, honestly. So, um, which lets me know that you need moisture because it's like, it's hard. Like, it's like, um, I don't know how to explain. It's not super soft. Um, and even when it's wet, it's like, but it, that means it's really strong. It just needs moisture to balance it out. So we're going to give her a ton of moisture today. Smells like blueberries. Smells like good, actually. I usually don't like, like, super fruity stuff like that. All right, so I'm just going to take, taking a bunch and just putting it in here. Oh, shoot, mom, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> My mom's back there. She's, like, standing with this blanket around her, and I can only see her. <laughs> <laughs> I can only see that you standing like this figure in the darkness. <laughs> Rat tail comb. We just, you, you just make stuff work, you know? You just, you make it work. I'm gonna mix this all up. I just didn't know 
Madison goes to North Texas, my alma mater and Simone's alma mater. <laughs> She's following in her big sister's footsteps. Well, I have nowhere else to go and everyone's staying at home, so. Well, sometimes that, that's all it takes. Just get out. That's why I tell people, like if they're contemplating on going to college or not sure what they want to do in life, just get a new experience. Get out of your environment and learn, learn something somewhere else. Travel, go live in another place for a, a little while. Um, you know, give yourself the opportunity to be exposed to different things because sometimes if we stay in our same environment, we stay the same, right? You don't really get exposed to a lot of different things. So when you, you know, challenge yourself to get out and go to an unknown place in an unknown area, it builds your character. Dang, Madison, your hair is so long. Look how long her hair is, y'all. It's long. And you definitely have tighter curls than me. But we knew this. Y'all, I've been doing her hair since, oh my gosh, forever, her whole life. I remember when you were like in preschool and mommy used to make us do your hair or all the way to like first grade, second grade. Cause she didn't want to do it. Cause you had a ton of hair just like we had a ton of hair. But I am happy that you like to wear your curls. Your natural it's curls. Easier. Right, I know. I feel, like, I feel like when I used to wear my hair straight, I was always so stressed that my my hair was gonna frizz up yeah. at any moment. It's like just stressful. And then it, it would get like half of it would only get like frizzy. Right, like the top half or yeah. whatever, and then the rest would be laid, and you're just yeah. like, okay, I look even crazier. Yeah. Because <laughs> it don't all look jacked up. It's only parts <laughs> that look jacked up. And then when it rained, there was just right. It's done, and you're done for. You know. And then it's like you gotta like base life off of what your hair looks like. And that's not how you're supposed to wear, live life. You ain't supposed to live life, you know, it, well, is my hair gonna get sweated out? Like, um, can I go do problem. this? If my hair gets wet, what am I gonna do? You still talking to Bay? Mm. Yes? Yeah. No? Uh, what happened? Life. You know, are there cute guys at UND? Remember we used to do all kinds of hairstyles on you. <laughs> really? Yes. I don't remember. We used to do your hair all the time, Madison. All the time. And me and Simone used to fight about who would have to do your hair. Because we did not want to do it. That sounds so weird. Yeah. Do you even remember what it was like to like when we lived at home? Like when? Like when like when we were in high school and stuff. Yeah, like, oh okay. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like short. We're so short. No, look, look, like her head isn't even all the way on the camera, and this is how short I am. My bun is like misleading. Anyway, this is her hair. We're about to sit underneath this steamer and get it done. Okay, y'all. So we are almost done drying her hair. Um, it's probably about 85% dry right now. But you guys can see, it looks so good. Here, turn around. This piece. Yeah, <laughs> we have a couple pieces that we're gonna have to like work with because they like are super undefined. So this like, like piece right here just doesn't know what it wants to do. Like it's just like a random piece. So you usually wear your hair to the side like that, right? Which is probably why it's like a weird, it won't lay back that way. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna re-wet it with so this um, leave-in conditioner. It's the color Hydrating Leave Conditioner by Curl's Daughter. Um, and we're just gonna respray it. And we're gonna twist it. Yeah, it looks so much better. Okay, how you feeling? Okay. Good. You like it? Yeah. It's bigger than normal. It's bigger than normal? Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you ever diffuse it? Here, turn to the side. Let's see. Uh, yeah. You do? When do you diffuse it? Occasionally. Occasionally? But I won't do it, like, completely. I'll just do it to where it's so it's not, like, totally wet. Mm-hmm. Just, like, it's, like, a damp. Yeah, and then and you let it air dry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. see, for me here, like, turn around, turn, yeah. You got just, like, some color damage and everything, which is going to happen, like, 
it's not the same as like the healthy hair that's down here. And then different patches where it's like kind of frizzy, but you like it big, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we don't mind the frizz, but there's pieces here like that I would, if, if I didn't like this like that much, I would just re-wet this and brush it out like we did the front. Um, so yeah, but she's so shy. <laughs> <laughs> We're done here, people. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. It came out good. Came out good. Came out good. Came out good. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want Madison to come back on camera. Tell us, and then I can force her to get back on camera for something. We'll do something fun together. But yay! Thanks, Maddie, for being on here with me. Thanks for having me, Jane. <laughs>